poem is called Grieving. They have a name for this, this constant aching emptiness I feel in my chest every time I take a breath. Grief, they call this grieving. The countless days I've spent sitting on the cold floor, turning my thoughts over and over in my hands, playing with the sharp bits and pieces of whatever's left of my emotions, trying to make sense of them, but all I've gotten out of it was gashes on my palms and blood on my fingertips. They have a name for this, which means I'm not the first to have plummeted this slow, and I should find comfort in the fact that I'm not the only miserable mess in the world with hollow bones and a heavy heart, but just pushes me further into my own agony. And the only thing I can find comfort in anymore is cigarette smoke and heartbreak. My lungs are on the verge of a collapse and my voice is numb because I've been screaming since you left me and I've finally come to the conclusion that you can't hear me if you're six feet underground. And even if you could, it would be no use. I've been stuck between denial and anger and depression for too long and the walls are too thick to let me out or to let anything else in. I wonder how someone can be stuck in the same spot for two years and still feel so damn lost. Maybe it's because the sun doesn't shine for me since you've been gone and I'm still not quite sure where I am, but I don't want to move. The dark is the closest thing I have to home anymore. I haven't been able to form a clear thought in my head since you left, which is why this probably doesn't make much sense, but none of it ever did. I've lost count of how many sleepless nights I've spent clutching my heart, tears spilling out of my eyes, praying, begging, pleading to something that I don't even believe in to bring you back or to make me forget that you're gone or to just erase my life altogether. Anything to make it stop hurting. I don't know how someone can be so numb and still feel so much pain. I always told myself I'd be okay, but maybe that was just my way of justifying my self-negligence telling myself to pay no attention to my wounds, that they would heal on their own and the scars would fade over time. But now I've come to realize that every last ounce of hope that I ever had got carried away in your casket and buried away for good. The image of loss and death constantly burning in the back of my mind. I always told myself I'd be okay. Told, past tense. I don't believe it anymore.